I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we're going to take you along with us as we explore Lake Louisa State Park near Claremont, Florida. This is a place that I've known about for quite a few years, and we finally made it. We've been talking about doing this a long time. We've been past it literally hundreds of times and not stopped. This time we stopped, and it was very much a well worth it stop. It was surprising. It was. Be sure to hang around to the end of the video because Kathy has an extra special surprise for you that you absolutely will not want to miss. Thank you. Now when Doug said we've been by here uh, hundreds of times, he wasn't kidding because we've been over at Thousand Trails, Orlando um, for about two years. We've been coming back and forth and this is right across the street. Mm -hmm. Right between Four Corners and Claremont on State Route 27. Now one of the reasons we haven't come in here is you can see you don't see a whole lot. It looks very grassy, it looks sparse with the trees and you're always thinking well there must be somebody someplace else that we could go that would be more interesting which was a mistake. Yeah it doesn't look very lush from the road but some of the scenery you're gonna see today is really really beautiful. The first thing you're going to see as you come into the park is the ranger station. And at that ranger station is where you pay your admission. It's $5 a car load, so by all means bring the family. The park is open until uh, dusk, so plan on staying for the day. You definitely can find enough to keep you busy. And dogs are, are welcome. Absolutely. Dogs on leash are welcome through the entire park, including the trails. Now on the left, those are long parking spaces, so if you do have an RV and you're not camping at uh, Lake Louisa, you can certainly park there. There's one of your first trails right there. The trails are all numbered, and they do tell you how, uh, how much your distance is on the loops. And if you do want to pause at this point, there's a map of the park, and we're going to be referencing that as we go along. Now there are those long spots we were talking about. The park has seven miles of paved roads, so you're gonna see us skip over some areas here as we go along, and um, just to keep it as, as short and, and concise as what we can. There's also 20 miles of unpaved trails. So between the, the driving and the walking trails, there's plenty to keep yourself busy. There's also uh, so much here that I think one one day trip is, is not going to come close to seeing everything. Absolutely right. Now the uh, overlook that we showed you there in the beginning, that actually does look over Lake Louisa. But we're going to get you back to Lake Louisa here in just a little bit. We're going to take the first left, and this road comes around the edge of Dixie Lake. And on this side of Dixie Lake are the cabins. Now my idea of cabins are usually much smaller, more quaint, but check these out. There are 20 cabins. They all have central air conditioning. They all have screened in porches that face Dixie Lake. Uh, they all have two parking spaces. Um, they have picnic areas between the cabins and the lake. And they are just beautiful. We're gonna make a turn here into one of their parking spaces to give you a little bit of an idea when you rent one of those cabins what you have for a view. Now the cabins are on our right and Dixie Lake is also on our right. There's the screen porch that runs across the entire lakeside. Your two private parking spaces and look at that view. Now you were saying there were paths going down to the lake? 
Yeah, there are walking paths and down at the lake there was a couple of trailheads also. So I'm sure that those are, are designed to go out around the lake. It's very, very pretty. Very well kept up. Imagine waking up to that. Oh yeah. We're going to back out of these cabins. <clears throat> excuse me. And we're going to go on down to the end of the row of the cabins. There are 20 of those cabins as far as what we could see from the road, all of them alike. Uh, but they're very, very nice. Now we're not going to go all the way down to the turnaround, but at the very end is a building and that is the <coughs> building that takes care of all of, I'm assuming, the laundry and the maintenance of the cabins. Now we're going to come right back out that road. We're going to make a left and continue on around Dixie Lake. As you can see, we're getting into more trees up here. Now this is across the lake from the cabins. It's a nice little pullout area, picnic area. And you can see the cabins over there on the far shore. What a peaceful place. Mm -hmm. Now there are restrooms in these areas. There are picnic areas. Just really, really a beautiful spot. And plenty of parking. With it being overcast, um, since it was our first time there, I'm assuming that it probably is uh, more more people come there. On this. Plus, it was threatening rain. Right. So, and, and it was middle of the week. So this time of the year uh, in spring, it's still kind of weekend camping in Florida, more, more or less. Now, on our right over here is the equestrian area. Now we happened to catch it at a time that there weren't a lot of horses out there but we also were past there two other times and there was quite a few of them. I think most of the people most of the people were out riding horses at that point. Yeah. all kinds of wildlife, uh, anything they said from uh, fox squirrels to bobcats, uh, deer, gopher tortoises. This is coming upon the lake and they've got a, a beautiful fishing pier out there. They have kayaks available for rent. One of the things that I saw on that sign was um, Scorpions yeah. of all different sizes. I was really surprised. I've been in Florida a long time and I hadn't hadn't really noticed a whole lot of scorpions. Directly across from the lake is the campground. And some of the spaces really have nice views of the lake. Now there's three loops. I believe 15 sites on each loop. I'm not positive, but I believe there's 45 campsites. And just past the kayak area up here on the way back to the campground is the camper canteen. And you'll see on the left, they're getting firewood ready over there. And they also have a couple of yurts. They were my favorites. They had air conditioners set up <laughs> out the side. 
I mean, they really look neat. On a platform, so you don't have to worry about all the bugs, snakes. Now there's one camping loop straight ahead, and if you make a left like we did, there's one camping loop to the left and one to the right. We're going to take you a tour of the one on the left. That is a bathhouse right there. Again, all the roads are paved. They're, they're nestled in the trees, but you don't seem like you have a lot of overhang, so you don't have to worry so much about limbs and stuff. It was very clean. There are some pull-throughs like that one on the left. Uh, we did see a couple tag axle coaches, so there are some spaces that will accommodate larger rigs. I would say if you're in the neighborhood of 30 to 35 foot, you've got pretty near free reigns of all the sites. Over that, you're going to have a few sites that, that probably won't be best suited for you. But that's one there on the left was a tag axle. There's some big rigs in there. Now we're going to go back out to that main road and we're going to make a left this time. The sign will actually tell you that this is to going up towards Bear Lake and Lake Louisa. This was my favorite area. Trees are more dense. The trails are a little more protected from those trees, so you've got more shade. Now this is a large, large parking area back here in the back. And as we go all the way around the parking area, to see some cars down here ahead of us. There is spaces for handicap parking there. And on the right, there's a boardwalk. And that boardwalk is going to take us through some beautiful area. It's swampy. It's definitely native Florida. Yes. We did not see gators down there though. No, I was we really surprised. There were some really nice trails off of the parking lot uh, before we got down to this area that went down and around and they were really, really nice to walk. You don't want your little dog walking around down in there, though. No. Even though we didn't see any, I know they were there. Yes. I heard them. <laughs> now, as you come back here, there are restrooms on both sides. And there's a nice raised picnic area, as well as a picnic area on the beach. That's a big old tree there right in front. And it's really nice how they went around it. They've left seating there. Yeah. Now the only place you can't take your dog is out on the beach. I'm sure because of gators. Yes. But this is something I, I found very interesting. There's a memorial out there. And this memorial 
was for a uh, United States Army Air Force pilot who uh, got a distinguished flying cross in Italy in 1944 and was back doing training missions in Central Florida and his plane went down just out in the lake. They have part of the prop of that plane in the ranger station on display. And that is Lake Louisa. We want to end this today with a special treat from Kathy. She did some beautiful photography around the lake and around the trails. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We really do appreciate it. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Sit back and enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.